hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back to another video big shout out to fundeka for being the first in the notification gang thank you so much for your love and your support thank you thank you as you can see in today's video sis has got her corners in i did them myself guys they look actually okay <laughs> So we've got them in because, you know, we're back into lockdown, we're on stage four lockdown, so just take care of your hair, protect your hair. But the reason we have them today is because we're partnering with Neat and Sleek. Neat and Sleek is a braided wig company, so we're going to be trying not just a wig, but a braided wig. This is the first time that I will be trying a wig on, my first wig, as in me owning a wig, not just trying my sister's on. Um, so let's see how we go. <laughs> so this is what the wig looks like. I don't know too much about wigs, so forgive me guys. <laughs> You can choose the size of the wig cap that you want and then it also comes with this band at the back that you can fasten and also the clips on them. It's got the lace at the front and it's got the baby hairs as well that you can undo and pluck and trim to your liking. So for the wig, the braids are really, really neat. I mean, it's in the name, they're neat and they are sleek. Um, they're far better than the braids that I do for myself. All the braids are very even. And I would say, I think this is 24 centimeters long. The braids are quite long. So the first thing that I'm gonna do with my wig is I'm gonna take my foundation and I am going to lightly buff my foundation into the lace of the cap. I later found out that this was a terrible mistake, but we'll get into <laughs> the mistakes that I made later. So then I tried it on and this is when I realized that, hold on, it's matching my face, but it's not matching my scalp. Obviously we know that one scalp is not this dark. So I would recommend either using your concealer color or just leaving the lace as is because it does actually come already tinted. So to lay down my wig, I'll be using the Tuft Hold Spray, which is um, similar to the Got To Be Glued. I think it's the same thing anyway. So I'm going to be using that to um, seal in the foundation. Then I'm going to start trying on my wig. I cannot even count how many times I put this wig on and put it off and put it on just to make sure it was fitting okay because it wasn't fitting right, wasn't looking right, it was hurting, all these things. This is a newbie, <laughs> a newbie at its finest. I was showing myself lacking in this video, honestly, but it's okay, we move. After the hundredth time of me trying the wig on, I finally got it on and I cut the lace so that I could begin undoing the baby hairs. After I finished undoing it, I cut it to a desired length, a little bit longer than what I wanted. And then I began plucking the front of the hair so that it's a little bit more natural looking and it's not so heavy. This is what it looks like after I had finished plucking. Uh, I over plucked. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that, I over plucked. <laughs> after I had finished over plucking, I went in and cut the baby hairs a little bit more so that they were looking a little bit more natural and a little shorter. Once I'd done that, I began spraying just in front of my hairline and then um, allowing that to get tacky a little bit, then spraying a second layer. And then I went in with my satin little scarf thing to hold the section in. And I did this a few times. I had a lot of trouble on the sides of my head um, because of sideburns and stuff, but I did manage to sort of make it stick down a little bit. At this point, this was the point that I had hit my wall. I had been doing this for a few hours, trial and error, and let's just say Sis was frustrated with herself. But my mama never raised a quitter, so we kept going. 
After I had gotten over my temper tantrum, I began to remove the glue from the front of my face so that I could lay my baby hairs down. And this was another mission and a half. I've never ever struggled with baby hairs, but for some reason, today was my day. Um, this was a mess, <laughs> maybe because they were so little and the more I worked it, the harder it got. After a while, they were just not cooperating. I spent a good 25 minutes trying to get these baby hairs done. After I accepted the fate of the baby hairs, I went back again with my satin scarf so that I could show you guys the big reveal. So this is what the hair looks like. It actually genuinely looks like your hair has been braided when you have done it properly and the lace is actually matching your scalp color. It actually looks like it's real braids that are from your hair. I did go out with this hair to go run some errands and I did meet someone in the shops and they actually were like, oh my god, your hair, um, whoever braided it did a really nice job and I was like, sis, it's a wig. <laughs> so this is what my second try looked like. This was after I'd actually washed the wig to remove some of the foundation so that it sits and looks a bit nicer. And then this is the third time that I tried it. You can't even tell. What lace? What wig? I did that. So yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Comment down below your thoughts, how you think I went. Like the video if you like. Oh, I love you guys so much. Mwah.